seven to nothing lead for the Huskies. Well, they, they start to drive off with Safari and Jenkins again on the deep over route on the first play of the ball game off play action. Here, Keith Price keeping this play away, finding Jenkins again alone in the secondary, and he's almost able to get that ball into the end zone down at the two. And there's Chris Polk. Uh, great blocking on that left side, just takes it in for the touchdown standing up. What a great start for this Husky football team after really a, a lethargic start. Tough to stop because if the quarterback and the receivers are seeing the same thing in the defense, the defense can never be right. On second and three, Moniz. Wide open target at the Husky 30. First down and much more. Loose football and the Huskies and Warriors battle for it down near the five yard line. It's Washington football. Well, I believe great. it was Royce Pollard who made the reception and but I think then it, got hit from behind. And I think it was Port Dennison that knocked that football out. But great effort by Moniz as he does this a lot. He scrambles around, finds the open receiver in the secondary. But here comes the pursuit from behind. There's Court Dennison right there to strip that football out of there. And you're going to need some of that today because you know they're going to complete passes. You know they're going to make some big plays. But you've got to try and get that football out with aggressive tackling. And that's there originally. Bottom line, Husky football. First down and 10. Cole for the lot of room. First down and out near the 18. Fresh set of downs for Washington with Price out of the shotgun. Against the grain, it's Polk. And another of the guys up front who so far have done a terrific job both in terms of pass protection and opening holes for the ground game. On first down, big hole up the middle. Jesse Cowley's last week, six of 15 in converting third downs. Price converts this one. Start for his confidence. Devin Aguilar in the slot to the right. Curse out wide. Handoff pull. Big hole over left tackle. And down. Curse resetting. Quick pass to Curse. The bubble screen. Good block. Curse touchdown. Washington. So right now, Tom, they're making it look easy. They're, they're really executing at a very, very high level right now. They're playing with a lot more emotion. Good blocks on the outside on this bubble screen. James Johnson also uh, uh, make that uh, Aguilar a great block over there. So to get those cleaned up coming into this football game. Third down and three. Hawaii last week converting eight of 16 third down opportunities. And he's flushed out of the pocket and down he goes. Alameda to Amu, putting Moniz down and denying Hawaii on third down. And that's what you need when you're trying to stop this, this uh, potent offense is you got to get pressure on the quarterback. This time the Huskies got that pressure. There's uh, Alameda right there. That's a lot of weight falling on that quarter. And the Washington Huskies two for two in terms of possessions leading to touchdowns. We'll see if Hawaii's defense can make some much needed adjustments to slow this Washington offense down a bit. They take the pull. Price going deep. Aguilar wide open the reception in Hawaii territory. Aguilar taking a couple of Warriors along for the ride down near the 20 yard line. Another big pass play for the Huskies. Coming off play action again when your running game is going well this is what Steve Sarkeesian wants to do set up the for play action Devin Aguilar gets behind those safeties who are peeking in the backfield another big play by Keith Price and one of his receivers this time Devin Aguilar a huge play for the Huskies 59 yards Richard Torres beaten after him really really good this week in practice as far as how he coached this week very aggressive third down and eight Price open receiver Touchdown, Washington! <laughs> Jermaine Curse with his second TD reception in this football game, in this first quarter.
Well, you get your wide receiver, Jermaine Curse, who's one of your best players on the offense, lined up against a linebacker in Aaron Brown. And I take that matchup every time. I like my wide receiver, uh, Curse. Occasion they converted, but that was a shorter play. O'Neill's ran for the first down on that one. We'll see what he has in mind this time. Through the air, dropped in the end zone by Darius Bright. 102 yards, although in fairness to Keith, he was victimized by quite a few drops, especially in the first half. Second down, hold. Kyle Rass spawned a punt for the Huskies last week. Five punts, a 46.8 yard average with a long of 55 yards. And Scott Harding back to receive for Hawaii, a former professional football player in Australia. We're talking Aussie rules football. Made the catch, but had nowhere to go. And look who's Johnny on the spot, Desmond Trufant. Well, again, I'm impressed not only with the way the Huskies are tackling, but with the aggressiveness in the way they're tackling. Watch these hits they're laying. Third and goal. Jackson, touchdown, Hawaii. Ball and, and very open about everything that they're doing over there and, and open about his love for the University of Hawaii. Callier with a lot of room approaching in midfield still on his feet and inside Hawaii territory. Fourth and five or six is what he was probably thinking of after that play was over. Huskies one for one last week on fourth down. Price time in the pocket open target over the middle Aguilar down at the 12 a yard line for the third down situation for the Huskies price to the end zone picked off by Hawaii and a big return and this one could go the distance for the Islanders a lot of room and on his way to the end zone for versus a guy who's been running a team for a number of seasons? Well, you're Safari and Jenkins, you're a freshman, and you can't rely on them to do a lot of things right at the beginning of their career, and that's something he's going to have. Sides of the football. Third down and nine. Price over the middle. Aguilar with the... First down and ten. Price, the pump fake, goes to the right, open receiver, touchdown, Devin Aguilar. That, Mr. Moon, is how you respond to the adversity of an interception return to a touchdown. You come back on your next possession and throw one of your own. And I don't know if this ball was intentionally thrown behind him. It looked like it was. It, it, it almost Oni's touchdown, Hawaii. Left side, but Port Dennison stood him up right there for no game. But this time he goes to the right side and able to get there for the touchdown. Kenton Shun with a point after touchdown. He can't lie. 14 play drive, but a lot. First half, a good one, 13 of 17, 272 yards, three touchdowns, but the one interception returned 99 yards by Torres for six. Oh, dancing around and finding a seam and making the most of it for a seven. To the right, but the patience that he showed and the way he's able to get his feet back up in the uh, other side of the hole, very impressive. Price as a target. Has a nice pickup inside the Hawaii 45 yard. Make something happen here. Not lose any yards, not take any sacks or get any penalties, but try and get this ball in the end zone. Oh, putting the head down and getting in. Hey, Jason, they've got to score points because this Hawaii team, they're explosive. They scored 34 last week and didn't feel like they played very good. Polk from 36. It's good. He was three for three last week against Eastern. He was the Pac-10 Pac motion. Touchdown, Hawaii. Into the end zone. Sterling Jackson. 
Jackson with his second. Leo Sefa, the lone back. Onis being pursued, avoids the sack. Looking for a target in the end zone, and it's bright, it's incomplete, and that's huge. Give that defense uh, an ability to get some rest on the sideline. Price over the middle, Michael Hartvigson. On a Chington. That's Safarian Jenkins in motion. Price. Oh, escapes the rush. It's down players today. Oh, big hole up the gut. Chris Polk down near the 15. For big yardage. Yeah, creates those running lanes up inside. You take advantage of that over aggressiveness and burn them with the draw up inside. Polk, 99 yards. Second down and eight. Price looks to the end zone. The big target, Safarian Jenkins, touchdown, Washington. Jason, you talked about the great hands these tight ends have, and there's Safarian Jenkins proving you right. Bolt to kick off. Mike Edwards settling under the kick from the five. Good coverage by the dogs. As Edwards was rolled up as he crossed the 20. Right here for Hawaii. And down goes Moniz. Aoli Jamora. Getting following the sack, second down, 17. Moniz going deep, intercepted, true font. Still on his feet. Two receivers to each side. As a man, and a touchdown. Jeremiah Ostrowski with the catch. A mishap on the punt by Rasp. Five plays, 27 yards, minute 12 seconds. Shuns, point after touchdown block. The Huskies can return this for points. And here goes Trufant, and he will go the distance. How about that? And that's a huge play from the standpoint of what Hawaii now to do two points for the Huskies an eight point differential so not only does Hawaii have to get the onside kick and score the touchdown they need to convert a tight freeze cam issues today on PATs by Hawaii second one they've had blocked Jamora got the first Let's see if we can pick up who got this one wow just coming in. That was big Everett Thompson again. Did Everett, who got it? Getting that hand up there, and uh, I think they need to stay out of that spread formation and just line up in their regular kick. It, it could have gone a whole different direction with the Huskies <laughs> jumping out to that 21 to nothing lead in the first quarter. To Hawaii's credit, tremendous resilience uh, to get back into the contest.